Today we're going to look at Chaturanga Dandasana. Now Chaturanga Dandasana means four-limbed staff. So when you're doing this pose, you want to be firm and, and straight like a staff. Engaged in your core, strong legs, chest open. I'm not going to drop my shoulders like this, taking them out of alignment. Instead, they move back, shoulder blades toward each other, and the chest open and forward. Don't lift your ass like this. Instead, engage your core and try to tuck your tailbone. Trying to find, again, that solid foundation through your core in this pose. The elbows aren't going to open out like this. Instead, they're going to squeeze in tight. And now I can open my chest forward, helping to put more weight forward into my hands, preparing for later arm balances. Notice I'm not going to sink through the core there. If you're not strong enough, put your knees on the floor, but try to find a solid foundation in the pose. So for instance, once you've got that sense of that pose, it'll help you with poses like this. Notice, I'm not going to drop my shoulder. Instead, the shoulders find that same alignment as Chaturanga Nandasana, chest open, elbows tight. Bakasana is similar. If I put my shoulders into that incorrect position like we had in an incorrect chaturanga, it looks like this. Instead, the shoulders come back, the chest opens, and now I can start to engage my core and really start to find the pose. It all comes from the simple variations.